Now consider an irreducible and aperiodic Markov chain. There are two possible scenarios here. Uh, one is either all states are transient or null recurrent, so that in the state state, the probability of observing them is zero. And in, in fact, in this case, there is no stationary distribution. And uh, let's see how, how this situation can occur. For instance, take the binomial counting process and let's, let's draw its state transition diagram. Uh, if you remember, it st starts from zero. And whenever it counts up, it never counts down, okay? So with, with the failed probability one minus P, it states, stays in each state, but with probability P, it's incremented by one, right? So whenever it leaves a state, it never comes back. So every state in this Markov chain is a transient state. So in the long run, the probability of observing each of them is zero. Uh, alternatively, let's take the uh, symmetric random walk. So this is the binomial counting process. Let's look at this symmetric random walk. And in fact, it will again start from zero, but it can move either up or down. So it, it can go to one with one half probability and it can go down to minus one again with one half probability. And with one, it can go down to zero with one half probability. It can go up to two with one half probability. Okay, so it's all symmetric. Like so. Minus two here with one half probability, etc. So here, all states are uh, recurrent. That means the probability that you will return to any state you have left is one. However, the expected time of that return diverges to infinity. Therefore, each of the states here in the symmetric random walk are um, null recurrent. So there doesn't exist a stationary distribution in these two scenarios. So that is one situation when, when you have an irreducible and a periodic Markov chain, either all states are transient or all states are null recurrent. Or the second scenario is all states are positive recurrent, in which case there is a unique stationary distribution. Unique stationary distribution. Obviously, as we have seen earlier, pi times p equals p is the equation that this distribution satisfies. And obviously this, this shows that it is a distribution. It, it adds up to one. Now that we call a steady state distribution. Okay, so what does this mean? Each component of the steady state distribution represents the probability to find the Markov chain in state I when the Markov chain is observed after a transient period. What is that transient period? We call that a sufficiently long warm-up time, okay? So it sort of has a transient dynamic, but after a while, the transient behavior dies out and the steady state uh, emerges. So the, the probability that you observe every state uh, is, is the steady state uh, behavior. Now, uh, consider this equation. As we have seen, this is the uh, this is the equation that the steady state distribution satisfies. But if, if you remember your linear algebra course, this equality shows us that pi is a left eigenvector of the matrix P corresponding to the eigenvalue one. So what does this mean? In general, if lambda uh, is an eigenvalue, uh, Let's, let's do the, the usual case where you can write A times V for a matrix A equals lambda times V. Here we say that, well, V is a vector, a column vector, and A is a matrix. Uh, when you have this equality for a lambda V pair, we say that lambda is an eigenvalue of matrix A and V is the corresponding eigenvector. 
um, this is the usual case where, in fact, V is the right eigenvector, but in, in our context, you see, we will deal with left eigenvectors. So in general, you can write this as, let's say, um, U times A equals U times lambda. If you have such an equality where U is a row vector, then U is called an left eigenvector of matrix A corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda. And in this case, if you remember, we just write, uh, we just multiply the right hand side with the um, uh, identity matrix to obtain zero equals U times lambda I minus A. And this uh, expression was critical here because um, we, we found the uh, characteristic equation of the matrix A, or rather the, the equation that the eigenvalues satisfy from the determinant of this expression. That's how we found the uh, eigenvalues of a matrix. But here, I'm not going to go into those details. The fact that you have this equality shows us that pi is a left eigenvector of matrix P corresponding to the eigenvalue one. Now. Um, going back to the M state, um, M, M uh, step transition probabilities, okay, um, we will, in steady state, we will observe that uh, this uh, has a limit. If this limit exists, which we will denote by P infinity, um, well, for any M value, you can write P to the power M equals P to the power M minus one times P. And if you take the limit as M goes to infinity of both sides, this goes to P infinity and this also goes to P infinity. Therefore, uh, you will have P infinity equals P infinity times P, right? And if you write an identity here and combine the terms, you will have P identity times, let me write just one times identity minus P equals a zero matrix here. Right, when, when you can write this, you see uh, this is a matrix and see if you take every, vec uh, every row vector from this matrix, okay, you see what is this? This is this matrix, lambda i, minus a. Well, a is p and lambda is 1, our eigenvalue. So you see, since uh, this is equal to 0, every row here should correspond to this left eigenvector here. So this also shows us that if this limit exists, every row of p infinity, this limit, must be equal to the corresponding left eigenvector, which is pi. As we have seen earlier, right, in, in the um, weather example, if you remember, pi, uh, P to the 20 matrix had converged to uh, all equal rows. So that was not a coincidence. This is the result of this observation. Every row there uh, converged to pi, the steady state distribution, because while well, every row here constitutes a left eigenvector. So this also should show you that for an algorithmic Markov chain, the steady state distribution does not depend on the initial distribution because you see every row becomes the same after a while, okay? And therefore, wherever you start the Markov chain has no effect on the steady state. 